Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be going over how to install data packs onto an Atronos server. I already have done a video on this, but this is an updated version. It's really easy. Step one, make sure your server is offline. Step two, go to worlds. You may have multiple worlds depending on your plugins or you may just have one. So what you're gonna do is if you have a world that you wanna apply a data pack onto, then simply click files. However, if you just wanna generate a new one or just haven't started your server yet, you're gonna click on generate. Fill out these settings however you like and then click generate. Once it's done, click on files. Now, there may or may not be a data packs folder here. If there is, then just simply click on that. But if you don't see a data packs folder there, you're gonna click on this add folder and you're gonna type in data packs like this. It has to be spelled correctly, correct capitalization. You're gonna click on that check mark and then you're just gonna click into. Then you're gonna click on this upload file icon and just simply navigate to where you stored your data pack and upload the datapack.zip, okay? Make sure it's the datapack.zip. Another thing to note is that on your .zip folder and you see a folder like this in there, and then when you double click that, you see an MC meta and data folder. That is not right. You must be able to double click on this and immediately see these two files or more. So in order to fix this, it's pretty simple. Just drag and drop this to your desktop and then delete the one in your .zip folder and then open this up, open the folder you drag to your desktop and then copy and paste these into here. And then you can delete this folder. So now when I double click on this, this is right. You, I can immediately see these files and then you can upload this. So now that you're done and you have your data pack in here, by the way, this is my desktop data pack. I'll have an eye in the top right corner of your screen. Don't click on that, I would recommend getting that. You can then go to your server and click start. Now, launch up your game. Another thing to know is that make sure that your server version, the version here, oh, dang it. This server version must be the right version for your data pack. So this version is completely fine for my desktop data pack. In the description of some data packs, there might be a specific version you need to have it as, but right now, um, the default is 1.17.1 and most are probably going to be compatible with that. If your server is not on the right version or it's just not documented, I literally can't help you with this. You're going to need to contact the data pack owner. Once your server is started, just click join server. Once you're in your server, type slash data packs list. I am not opt. If you aren't opt, just go to your console, do opt and then your name, your uh, Minecraft name. Now we'll do slash data pack list and there we go file.deswap data pack and if you want to run just type slash function and then you'll have your functions so i'll just run setup this is how mine works yeah um i hope this was useful for you thank you for watching bye